in five, four, three, two, and one. And welcome everyone to this episode of the Real Leaders Podcast. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Real Leaders Podcast. I'm your host, Kevin Edwards. Joining us today is Karen Marchetti, the Marketing Director of Global Baby Care at J&J. Karen, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Of course. So tell us a little bit about what J&J and yourself are doing here at Sustainable Brands 21 in San Diego. Absolutely. So uh, at J&J, we've We've been doing a lot over as my entire career there, which is six years, um, to really advance us into the sustainability space. But really in the last two years, we've kind of stepped up where we've launched a, the Healthy Lives mission. Um, and so we have made a, a public declaration about how we will advance our sustainability goals and live into our commitments um, and really improve the lives of, of consumers everywhere. So there are three pillars that we're focused on, healthy people, healthy planet, and healthy employees. Um, and about two years ago, we really uh, dialed up our focus there and charged all of our leadership brands, um, one of which is mine, Johnson's Baby, um, to really take a, a leadership role in bringing this to life. And so we've been doing quite a bit of work on ingredient transparency, packaging improvements, um, really just different ways to get our employees engaged in what is a really critical global cause. Um, and we have you know, brands with loud voices and, um, and you know, quite a deep pr uh, presence globally where we can make a difference. So, you know, I'm here because I want to learn from other people in the industry. We certainly don't have it figured out as a, a big global company. Um, we're making a lot of strides, big and small, and we're excited about those. But uh, I'm inspired just being here, hearing that other big companies and small companies are facing some of the same challenges and how they're tackling them. So Karen, you mentioned a couple of those uh, tactics that you're using, packaging, uh, transparency in ingredients. Where are you sh seeing this show up? in business results. What is the business case for making a move like this? Um, well, I mean, we, we believe fundamentally that doing the right thing is going to be good for, for the business. Uh, you know, as my, my business is baby care, so I'm very focused on moms and parents and the things that they face when they bring a new baby home. And uh, for parents, the thing that is most important, critically important, is making sure that every ingredient that touches their baby's skin is going to be as safe and as gentle as possible. And so for me, helping consumers to understand the science behind our products, the safety profile behind our products, what goes into them is really critically important and, and honestly will help to drive parents' preference for, for my products in particular. But more than that, I want to understand, I want to be able to facilitate that new parent experience. And we hear from our consumers all the time. I want to do the right thing. I want to make the best choices, but it's so confusing. There's so much information out there. And so, you know, we're looking for ways to really drill that down, make it really simple for consumers to make the best choices for their families. And how does one make it simple? It's own, like you mentioned the packaging, you mentioned transparency of ingredients. Again, we'll, we'll touch on those. Where do you go to? Who do you look to to make sure that it's as simple as possible for a parent to make a decision that's good for the planet, the people, and, and their child? Uh, well, first we go to consumers and we find out from them what's important to them. Um, so it's funny that you should mention we're, we're actually, we just uh, launched a new digital tool to help parents do just that. And we started by um, understanding what was important. So things like naturality profile of our, of our products, um, biodegradability, safety profile, how do we test them? Are pediatricians and dermatologists supportive of them? What credentials do we have from third parties who are evaluating our products? And so we kind of went to the source, um, identified the things that were important to parents, and then we created this digital one-stop shop, if you will, that lives at the moment on our brand website um, that sort of brings all that to in one place for, for parents. So that when they're searching for information, they can find what they want in a simple and easy way um, and really just helps them to make the best product selections. Are you also seeing, and that's interesting, but are you also, also seeing this show up internally? Are the employees in J&J &J maybe more engaged? Obviously, you seem to know quite a bit about uh, the, the supply chain of what's mm -hmm. going into your product. Too. You're speaking with customers to see if they're going to make decisions based on where it's coming from. You're enthused by this work. Are there any, do you find this show up in the workplace? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, one of the reasons I'm at J&J &J is because of the culture. And, you know, we, we often look to our credo, which really runs, runs deep. And it's fundamentally, we always want to do the right thing by, by consumers. Um, but as a parent, and I work with a lot of parents who also happen to be marketers, I mean, I think that we all can, you know, just see the value in doing this type of work in bringing the best possible products to, to, um, to shelves and also just uh, you know, driving confidence that the choices that we're making are right for our families. I, I personally feel overwhelmed by that at times. 
terms of a leadership perspective, what do you think that says about the leadership at J&J when you make a decision like this to do what's best for the plan and for the people? Uh, for me, it brings to life what I've always known about the company, that they put their money where their mouth is, and when they really get behind something, uh, they're not intimidated by how big it could be. It's, you know, you have to start someplace and, and start taking the, the small steps. Karen, uh, we've talked a lot about doing the right thing, putting the money where your mouth is, um, and obviously it's shown within not just your products, but the people in your organization. What is your definition of a real leader? For me, it's somebody who I want to follow, someone who's genuine and authentic and comes to work every day with a, a, a purpose that they believe in. Um, I've been fortunate to work for a lot of great people through my career. Many of those people have been at J&J. &J I think um, a good leader sort of sets that vision and then allows you to, the, the creativity and the flexibility to live into it and to then drive that leadership day to day yourself. Fantastic. Really appreciate you coming on the show today. For Karen Marchetti, I'm Kevin L. We're asking you to go out there, be authentic, and always, folks, keep it real. Thanks, Karen. Thank you.